Hi everybody. So today we're going to talk about compound words. And these words can be a lot of fun. So I have a couple words I want to say for you. Okay, you ready? Cookbook, notebook, sidewalk, butterfly, someone, without, bathtub, jump rope. What do you think of that? That's a lot of different things, isn't it? Well, let's take a look at some other words. Okay, I have the word base, book, search, any, jump, bath, bed, life, lady, snow. Okay. Then I have a couple other words. They are on cards that look like this. Okay, so what about the word? We're going to try to put these second words with the first words and see if it makes sense. Base body. No, I don't think I've ever heard that word. Have you? Book body. Mm, be weird. But I don't think so. Search body. Ah, anybody. Wait, anybody. Does anybody ever heard of the word anybody? Oh my goodness. Let's leave that one there because that sounds right. Baseman. I mean, technically there is something called a baseman in baseball. So that might work. Bookman. I don't know about that one. Search man. No. Jump man. I am sure there is a man that can jump, but this, uh, sadly, is not a real word. Bath man. Mm -mm. Bed man. That'd be weird. Life man. Lady man. Okay. Snowman. Hey! Snowman. Okay, I can get down with that one. Now I have the word light. See, in this word, the G-H are silent and they make the I say its name. So light. Base light. No. Book light. There are book lights. Search light. Have you ever heard of a search light? A search light is just that. It's a big light they use to turn on when it's dark to search for things. All right, what about this base time? Hmm. Book time. We do have things such as book time, but it is not a compound word. Jump time. Meh. Bath time, maybe. Bedtime, though. Bedtime is definitely the one we're looking for. The word bug. Base bug. No. Book bug. No. Jump bug. I'm sure there are bugs that jump, but it's not a compound word. Bath bug. That would be gross. Life bug. Ladybug. Okay. There's a compound word. What about this one? Baseball. Hey, that was right away, wasn't it? The word baseball. Sweet. Not this one. Book tub. <laughs> no, that'd be weird. Jump tub. Bath tub. There we go. Book room. Jump room. Life room. Oh dear. None of those work. What if we did this? Could we say lifetime? Like it's been a lifetime since I've seen you. And then we could do this. Bedroom. How does that look? I think that's good. Now what about the word rope? Book rope, jump rope. Okay, there's jump rope. Book. Now this is a word that some of you might not have ever heard. Book keeper. A keeper of the books. That is someone, that is someone who keeps track of finances for a business. So a bookkeeper is kind of like an accountant. They know all about bills and numbers and taxes and all this crazy business stuff. That's what a bookkeeper does. Okay, so these words are compound words. And what that means is that snowman is actually one word. We hear two little words in it. But when we write it, it's just one word. Same with ladybug, lifetime, 
bedroom, bathtub, jump rope, anybody, searchlight, bookkeeper, and baseball. Okay, and there is tons and tons of compound words. So what I want you to do is I want you to start to see if you can find some other compound words, okay? And one thing that can be super fun is when you do find some compound words, I'm just gonna put this like this. I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do snowman. Remember, it's one word, and then I am going to draw a snowman. So here's his hat, and he's got little coal eyes, and that. He's got a carrot for a nose, and he's got stick arms. Look. There, I've written a compound word and I drew a picture. I can do the same thing with ladybug. My ladybug's kind of has this and then a head, right? A black head. It's got little antennas. And then it's got black spots on it, right? Like that. I even have a red colored pencil. I can color it in. There we go. So if you want, if you have a word collection book, you can go ahead and write some of these compound words down. All right? And then you can draw pictures of it. You could even try to make up some of your own silly compound words. That would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? We are makers of words. We're Language is a living organism. Very cool. So that's what a compound word is. Studying these can also really help you with your spelling. This is a branch of study called word study. And word study is a really important thing to practice so that you can better your writing and make it more interesting. And it also helps with spelling. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you for this lesson. Let me know if you need anything. I'm always here. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.